Hello YouTube. This is a video response to my friend watcher Azazel. And he asks um, for people's thoughts on this thing they're considering. Um, they're considering legalizing I think what he says is a type 4 female circumcision which is basically where they just prick the clitoris and draw like a drop of blood from it and some people are saying that they want to do that because if not people who want their female ch children to go through a, a female circumcision will send their daughters to another country and have a a worse sort of female circumcision and I really think that this is really I think it I think the people pushing for this it's it's a bullshit argument you know we could we could legalize any number of things based on the fact that in other places those things are legal and if we don't legalize them here someone can just go somewhere else and do it you know we could we could make that argument with you know gay people should not be executed for being gay okay well how about if we just put them in jail for being gay because if not if someone discovers their son is gay and they can just send them to Kenya where it's illegal to be executed you know the the point is not for the US to go down a little bit to someone else's level the point is for the United States to be an example for the rest of the world to to try and come up to you know and also it's a matter you know it makes me think of this stuff that unfortunately they're trying to do with uh, abortion here in the US you know they're attacking the funding so that people who are poor can't get abortions because they're making it harder and harder to get. So someone would have to travel in order to get one. You know, and and it's almost the same deal. You know, yeah, they could send their child somewhere else to get a, a circumcision, a female circumcision, but it's going to cost them more. You know, and it's that sort of making it difficult financially for someone to do that. So, no. I think I think the people pushing for that, I think it's a bullshit argument. And it really makes me wonder who is pushing for that? Because it is bullshit. And I would kind of like to know more about that person or whoever is, is pushing for that. You know, and that, I mean, the whole argument is kind of like a slippery slope argument. But, you know, that can be taken in the other direction too. And someone could say, well, we legalize this kind of female circumcision and it may make it easier to legalize other forms of female circumcision. And I'm not okay with that. I mean, we, we, it, we got it this far. Now we need to work on the men. We don't need to regress. We need to progress, is the point. I mean, and think about this in terms of your own 
your own issue, the, the ending the male circumcision, you know, think of the people that are going to be used, if, if this ever did become legal in the United States for girls to get this type 4 circumcision, think about what that would do to your cause. Because you're saying it's, it's inhumane, it's wrong, it's wrong. They're going to be able to say, well, now a form of female circumcision is legal, so, you know, what are you guys crying about? No. The point is not to move back to the Neanderthal thinking of some of the rest of the countries in the world. The point is to move forward. The point is to set an example. The point is to aspire to progress, to progress, not to regress. So, I wonder if I should even touch on this now. No, I'm going to do that later. Okay, so yeah, that's it for now. And go subscribe to Watcher. He's a good guy. He's, I'm saying go subscribe. This is my smaller channel. He's got more subs on his channel than I have on this one. But, yeah, he's a good guy. And... He makes good videos. And he's funny. He makes me smile. Good night.